Maka's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here. Welcome to the continuation of my Alan Wake 2 collectibles guide. In this video, we'll be tackling all of Bright Falls, including four nursery rhymes, four charms, seven lunch boxes, seven cult stashes, two weapons, and five Coscola Brother commercials. One of them is very missable. So let's start with the most important one, the one that's missable. You'll reach a point of no return near the end of the game. You'll get a warning, and the game will allow you to go and grab collectibles. This is the only one that can't be grabbed during the point of no return kind of section during sagas chapters return one return two and return three only can you go upstairs in the police station to the side room and find the adventure tours brother commercial this next collectible is basically impossible to miss but i'm going to show it just so that your checklist is going and you're making sure that everything i have you have the second Costco Brother commercial will be found automatically at the beginning of Return 3 Local Girl. Once you enter the lobby of the lodge, it should automatically start playing and be rewarded to you. Another Coscola Brother commercial is for beer, and there's actually three different areas you can find this collectible in. It kind of moves with you as you progress through the story, so it's another one that's incredibly difficult to miss. Your first chance to get it is inside of the diner during Return Chapter 3. It'll then move to the Suomi Hall in Watery, and at the end of the game, it'll be available in the Lodge. Also in Bright Falls, not far from the diner, just across the street, you can find a small little park. There's a gazebo out here. I believe there's a woman here. But in the corner, you can find a lunchbox, so make sure you grab it. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? The next collectibles will require you to make a little bit of story progress, and as you do that story progress, you'll unlock a new path out of the back of the lodge that allows you to unveil this new section of the map, and you'll be on your way to the nursing home. During this path, you'll be able to find a bunch of things like this cult stash. Not far from the break room, you'll notice that the path splits left and right. You'll want to go up to the right-hand side where you'll find a loop, and there you can find the cult stash, and it's a Simon Says, so just make sure you repeat the pattern. Yours will probably be a little bit different than mine. Now, not far from this previous cult stash, you'll also find your first nursery rhyme in Bright Falls, and that's just up the hill, and you'll find it there. You may have some dolls nearby that you can quickly pick up if you don't have the ones you need for this puzzle. There are a lot of duplicates that will despawn if you already have them, so if you don't have them, they'll probably just be sitting nearby. But first, you'll want to go to the house, and here you'll need the mother doll. Then you'll want to go to the tree and you can select the child doll. If you do that correctly, it should complete the puzzle. Make sure you grab both of the dolls back up to bring with you. Upon completing that nursery rhyme, if you turn around and head back from where we came from, you'll notice some black kind of patches of uh, darkness on the ground. And if you follow that path, you should notice the lantern charm spawning on the ground pretty much directly in front of you on the way back to the break room. Charm, my bracelet. Now, from that break room I was just talking about, we can also find a lunchbox and a cult stash nearby. So let's grab them both by following the path that goes to the left from the break room. And then it kind of starts veering off to the right-hand side, but you want to stay to the left-hand side when the path splits yet again. Then going up the hill to the right to find the lunchbox. It can be a little bit disorienting, but it's kind of at the very top of the highest part of this path. From that previous lunchbox, we can also find a cult stash. Go back down the hill to rejoin that main path and take a right-hand turn. And then instead of going down the steps in front of you, take a left-hand turn. This is technically a path, although very difficult to see, and you'll notice an abandoned car. In the back of the car, you can find the cult stash interact with the lock and the solution to this puzzle is 177. Seven. 
You'll then reach the manor and the wellness center, which is a mandatory part of Saga's story. If you enter the manor by ringing the doorbell, walk through the door and enter the first room on your right, you'll be able to find a map of the manor as well as a lunchbox here. Another thing you can grab while you're here is a brother commercial. To do that, head down the hall and then enter the kind of living room to the left hand side. Make a little loop and then go across the hall into the recreation room. This should allow you to unlock Bright Falls Blend commercial. This is our fourth out of five available in Bright Falls. From the manor, we will end up inside of the wellness center. You'll do a bunch of story stuff, end up at the rehabilitation center, and then you'll have to go around this back hallway. And there's an optional weapon to grab here, my favorite weapon in the game probably, the hunting rifle. Make your way back to the security room via this hallway. You can just enter through the front and then access the computer and input the code 1708. Two, three. This will unlock the computer and allow you to unlock some of the doors that are still locked. And the doors are open. With the doors unlocked, go through the door that now links you back to the lobby. And now that you're in the lobby, head through the doors that were previously locked through here. And you're able to actually go behind the reception desk. Inside of this area, you'll be able to find a doorknob. So make sure you grab that. That's a key item that we'll need in order to gain access to the hunting rifle. Head back into the uh, security room and then head back into the hallway, taking a left-hand turn to end up inside of this, which I believe is some kind of a sheriff's room or a workshop. And then here inside of the lockers, you'll be able to find a hunting rifle. Make sure you pick it up and you'll also unlock an achievement or trophy for doing so. After completing some of the story that takes place in the manor and the wellness center, you'll be able to exit out of the back gate that loops around back towards Bright Falls City. Take a right hand turn here where the path splits. Go in between some rocks and take a peek to your left to find a lunchbox. From this lunchbox, there are a couple of well-hidden cult stashes. Go down the hill a little bit and you'll rejoin the main path. Go down the hill following that path until it comes to a bend and you'll notice that there is a tree to your left slightly uphill. Here there's an arrow with a board at the bottom of the tree pointing towards the stash key. Take the stash key and then basically turn around and head up the hill from here and just around the corner, you'll be able to find the stash crate that goes with this key. And there will be some yellow uh, pointers that will work with your flashlight to show you where to go. Obviously, once you get to it, use that key on the lock to open it up. If you then continue following the path from the back of the wellness center that leads us back towards Bright Falls, You'll eventually be able to take a small left-hand turn, noticing some yellow arrows with your flashlight painted on the rocks. If you eventually go to this stash, you can just go right up to it and then input this code into the lock. Continue following the path and you will be able to find a ranger station uh, positioned on top of the hill. You will need a screwdriver to get in through the front door, but I honestly don't know if it's even possible to get to this part of the game without having the screwdriver. So it is incredibly likely that you already have it. If not, I'm not really sure how you got here that early. Head inside using your screwdriver and we'll be able to do our second nursery rhyme in this area and grab yet another coffee mug. I think you get like four or five of them throughout the game. If you're missing any of the required dolls, they will spawn in the cabin. But for the solution, what you'll want to do is go to the house, put the child there, then go to the candy and put the monster there. And that should go ahead and complete the nursery rhyme portion and you'll want to make sure you pick up the dolls after you're done. 
to get the coffee mug, all you'll want to do is you'll want to step out of the front door that we use to enter. Here you'll notice the black pool of darkness. And then if you turn around, you'll be able to follow the footsteps upstairs and they will lead you into the washroom. You'll then do a loop from the washroom back into the kind of bedroom and there you'll find your coffee mug charm. Make sure you grab it before you leave. Never have too many charms. Now from this ranger cabin, it's a decent position to be in to start the process for the next cult stash. What you want to do is you want to head outside of this uh, ranger cabin and locate the chimney. And at the foot of the chimney, you'll be able to find a key. This is the ranger station stash key, which is required for the next stash. With this key, you can now head back down the hill that you took to get up to the cabin. Basically go across the pathway that you took and then slightly go up the hill. You may encounter an enemy or two, and you'll want to be careful uh, of their presence, obviously. So I'm going to take my uh, enemy out here really, really quick, and then I can open up the stash using that newly found key. From that stash key, there are a couple of decently easy to find lunch boxes. Head down the hill, and this will link you back towards the main path. Head up the hill, kind of like you're going behind that ranger cabin. And here you'll be able to kind of go between a couple of cliffs, continue forward, and you'll be able to find the lunchbox on a little bit of an off path to the right-hand side. There's a little bit of a loop there as well, and you can grab it. From that lunchbox, we can head down the hill to connect back towards our little path here and then take that path and start heading towards the beach. Once the paths kind of intersect, just go across towards the beach to the top of this little mound hill and you should be able to locate the lunchbox nearby. From that previous lunchbox, we're actually very close to our next nursery rhyme on the shore of the water here. And you'll want to go up to it and interact with it in order to start the puzzle. The solution is to start with the waves, and here you can put down the monster doll. Then you can go to the jewelry and put down the child doll. And last but not least, head to the boat and put down the mother doll, grabbing all three of the dolls back up once it is complete. This will get you the nursery rhyme, but we also got to have to grab the charm. So if you just wait around just a little bit here, a couple of enemies will spawn out of the water. You can hear them if you have a decent enough headset and they'll begin to attack you and you're going to have to kill both of them. And after you do that, you'll be able to find the Valhalla nursing home charm on the ground nearby on the beach. From that beach, start heading back into the main town, crossing this newly discovered bridge into the shipyard. I'm doing this during the kind of point of no return section of the game, so we are at night, but if you do it earlier, it's going to be nice and bright for you. As you approach the shipyard from the path we took to get here, you'll be able to find a lunchbox and a manuscript on the hill to the right. From that lunchbox, also in the shipyard area, you can find your final nursery rhyme for Bright Falls by going to the end of the shipyard closest to the city. Here you'll be able to find a little bit of a pier, and then you can take that pier to the end in order to interact with the nursery rhyme. This will allow us to also grab the anchor charm. The solution to this puzzle is to choose the waves and put the mother doll there. Then choose the boat and put the monster doll there. This should complete it. Make sure you pick up both dolls before you leave. 
and make sure you grab your anchor charm before you leave as well. To get the anchor charm, head back into the shipyard, and because you did the nursery rhyme, a couple of enemies will have spawned. I'm going to fast forward my interaction with them just a couple of seconds to shorten up the video, but you'll want to take them out to be safe or else they kind of follow you forever. And next to one of the beached boats, you'll be able to find the anchor charm kind of sitting on the ground nearby. Once all of the enemies are taken out, you'll be able to interact with it to pick it up. Look at that. Another charm. From our parked car in Bright Falls, we actually have the ability to grab a really easy cult stash that is next to this kind of box truck. Interact with the keypad in order to do a Simon Says. This is the hardest one, at least for me. I think it was actually seven individual lights. But if you are to repeat them correctly, you will open up the cult stash and we can proceed. Now, the next collectibles will require you to have some story progress and you'll have the bolt cutters. But if you've been following along with the video, you should have those by now. But with the bolt cutters, upon returning to Bright Falls, you can now interact with a couple of gates that were previously locked, including this one that kind of ends up on a pier on a little bit of a fishing seafood dock. If you enter into the first uh, little hut on your right hand side, you can interact with the cult stash here and I will show you what the answer is on screen here. It is six, nine, seven. Again, because we're back in Bright Falls with the bolt cutters, you can head down the alley next to the diner. And on the left hand side will be a bolt locked gate that we can now get through. And behind this gate is a cult stash. This might be one of the last ones you actually have in the game, kind of depending on what order you decided to mop things up in. There's really not a correct answer. But as you approach it, just go and interact with the lock. And it is a symbols-based lock. So I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see exactly what symbols I input. And make sure you open it up, and then you can move on. We then have access to Saga's final weapon, which is the pump action shotgun upon returning to Bright Falls during her return six scratch mission. You'll be able to grab this weapon upon entering. If you don't already have the map, you can grab it from behind the desk. But as you do this mission or if you come back to the police station after doing this mission, but not too long after, as there is a point of no return, you will be warned about. But you'll be able to talk to the agent in the closet here. They'll give you a key. That key will allow you to gain access into this side office here. You can then interact with the hunting rifle, sorry, the pump action shotgun on the wall. And the answer to it is seven to three. Upon opening it up, grab it. If it's your final weapon, because you've gotten all the weapons with Alan Wake's story, you'll unlock an achievement or trophy for having all weapons as well. Now that we have the bolt cutters and we've returned to the police station, we can go and grab a cult stash that eluded us earlier on in the game. Head down the hall and through this door, you will need the key that was given to you by the control agent. Head down the stairs and enter the first room on your right hand side. It's open for me because I've already been here, but use your bolt cutters to get in through the gate into the storage room. And here you'll be able to find a cult stash the answer to this one is 146. Last but not least, in Bright Falls, your final Coscula Brother commercial is available during the mission Return 8 Deerfest. And once you're playing this chapter, just walk forward and head into the diner in order to get a video called Return Review. 
This should be your final Coscola Brother commercial as this is past the point of no return. And that should be it for this video. Drop a like, share the video with a friend. A special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.